Today we're looking at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The Battle of Little Bighorn, sometimes known as the Battle of Greasy Grass or Custer's Last Stand, was fought here on June 25th, 1876, near the Little Bighorn River in what is today South Central Montana. The battle was part of a larger conflict known as the Great Sioux War or Black Hills War. In 1868, the U.S. government and leaders of the Lakota and Cheyenne had signed the Treaty of Fort Laramie. Within the agreement was established the Great Sioux Reservation, in which basically the entire western half of South Dakota would be designated as Native American land. The treaty also stated that no white men could enter the territory except for government officials on official business. But almost immediately, American settlers began to encroach or move into the territory, and in 1874, gold was discovered in the Black Hills in western South Dakota. The Black Hills were a sacred area to Native Americans in the region, but nonetheless, the discovery of gold set off a rush of Americans moving into the area to get rich, and the treaty signed just six years earlier was ignored. Native American leaders traveled to Washington, D.C. in May of 1875 in an attempt to persuade President Ulysses S. Grant to honor their treaty and stop the constant flow of Americans into the region. The leaders were offered $25,000 for the land and asked to sign a new treaty and be forced to move to another reservation. The Native American leaders refused. The U.S. government then made a proclamation to Native Americans in the region telling them to move by January 31st, 1876, or face possible military action. The stage was now set for conflict as thousands of Native Americans refused to follow the orders. Native American leaders such as Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse began to lead resistance, and by the spring of 1876, an estimated 10,000 Sioux and Cheyenne had established a camp near the Little Bighorn River. On June 17, 1776, U.S. troops attempted to march on the camp, but were pushed back by Native American forces at the Battle of the Rosebud. The U.S. Army was surprised by the size of the Native American force at the battle, and they felt they needed to get more accurate numbers of how big a force they were facing in the area. The 7th U.S. Cavalry, which numbered just over 600 soldiers, most of which were veterans of the American Civil War, were under the command of Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer. The flamboyant Custer had risen to the rank of general during the American Civil War, but in 1871 was demoted for not following orders. Custer was now given orders to scout ahead and determine the enemy's size. On the morning of June 25, 1876, some of Custer's Native American scouts reported to him that they had spotted a large herd of horses. Custer determined that this was the main camp and he decided to organize an attack. Soon, more scouts reported to Custer that they had spotted the largest camp they had ever seen and that they were severely outnumbered. But Custer was concerned the camp would possibly break apart, so he moved forward with his attack. In the meantime, Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse, among other Native American leaders, began to organize their forces and ride out to counter the attack. Estimates are that the Native American forces numbered somewhere between 1,100 to 2,500 warriors compared to Custer's 600 soldiers. At about noon, Custer's soldiers entered the Little Bighorn Valley and the battle began. The charging Native American warriors quickly overwhelmed the U.S. forces and the battle was over in less than an hour. In the fighting, 262 U.S. soldiers were killed, including Custer himself, and 55 wounded. Native American forces suffered only about 31 warriors killed. Despite later reports that the 7th Cavalry were completely destroyed, actually many of them regrouped and continued to fight into the evening of June 25th and the morning of June 26th before U.S. reinforcements arrived and Native American forces withdrew. Many of the 7th Cavalry survived the battle, but they did experience a huge casualty rate as the Native American warriors won a decisive victory. Newspapers in the East reported the battle as a massacre and attempted to portray the Native American forces as bloodthirsty warriors. Although Native Americans had won the battle, many came to call Little Bighorn the Indians' last stand. As now, with outrage in the eastern part of the United States over the battle, the U.S. armed forces began to increase their efforts and pressure on Native Americans. Over the next five years, the American government continued to push Native American forces back, and by the mid-1880s, almost all of the Cheyenne and Sioux had been forced from their land and onto reservations. Little Bighorn was a turning point in American and Native American relations, as the battle was a victory victory for the Native Americans, yet in the end, it led to their ultimate removal from their land. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.